We're Lancaster. We are having shoe fly pie. What are you doing? So we're driving through Lancaster County in Pennsylvania and we are on our way to Amish country. Hey Chloe. <laughs> we found the Amish village, a place where we could learn more about their culture and also try the shoe fly pie. We are in Amishville. Yeah, it's so just outside of Lancaster County. It's actually a 12-acre Amish family village. So the Amish are known for very simple living. They usually wear plain dresses and there's no electronics. In fact, they're pretty reluctant to adopt many of the conveniences of modern technology. And so we wanted to see how they live. We're going to go for a tour. The story of Pennsylvania Amish dates back to the 16th century Reformation in Europe, and they moved over to Pennsylvania to escape persecution in Europe in about the 18th century. There's about 30,000 in the United States, and they've doubled in the last 20 years. Biggest question number one is why don't the Amish use electricity? So Amish people basically interpret linking with electrical wires as a connection with the world and the bible tells them that they are not to be conformed to the world so in 1919 amish leaders agreed that connecting to power lines would not be in the best interest of the community they didn't make the decision because they thought it was evil just because access to it could lead to many temptations and a deterioration of the church and family life Because Amish value simplicity and basically self-denial over comfort, their lifestyle is a deliberate way of separating from the world and maintaining that self-sufficient. And they're less likely to be threatened by any shortages caused by a storm or a disaster or war. So there is like a huge bonding that unites the Amish community and protects them from outside influences. Amish men do not have mustaches. They feel it's associated with the military. But they grow beards after they marry. Yep. And the longer People the beard, People hang up their the clothes better. to dry them, don't they? Yeah. They scrub them by hand and then they hang them up. <laughs> so we're in the Amish village and we just did the tour of the house and surprisingly they allow them to do quite a bit more than I thought that they do. I mean, they even go shopping at Costco, just like the rest of us. But uh, there's a lot of strict rules. There's a lot of talk about pride and uh, them not showing pride as being one of the rules of their religion, which I thought was pretty interesting. And uh, we saw their kitchens and how they cook and how they sew, take 400 hours to sew these rugs and all their beds and stuff like that, which was really cool. basically what this is made of. Let's try it. Oh my god. This is crumbly. Mmm. What is it like? It's brown sugar. Does it all taste and like honey. brown sugar? Yeah. Brown sugar and honey. It's more spicy. You like it? It's like a mixture of honey and molasses and it's gooey it tastes like um, gooey brown sugar molasses and custard and honey all mixed in one it's so delicious 
So it's custard? It's custard, brown sugar, molasses, honey, and it's very gooey on the bottom, but it's really good. I think it tastes like custard to me. I wonder if it's like the eggs. It says like it's uh, made with cake. Let's see. Dark corn syrup, water. It says syrup, molasses, caramel color, yep. eggs, baking soda, um, shoe fly crumbs. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Brown sugar, cake flour, margarine, vegetable oil. <laughs> Next time when we tell you to get something to or not to, just let them know. It's good. Yeah. It's pumpkin and whipped cream. Yeah, basically it tastes like pumpkin bread. With whipped cream. Mm -hmm. the, um, Come here, honey. Come try it. Like pie. No. Can you try it? Watch out, she, and I don't want her to so fall backwards like that. You know. Take a bite, honey. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You like that one? That one's the pumpkin. Pumpkin whoopie pie. Pumpkin whoopie pie. <laughs> pumpkin whoopie pie is way too sweet for me. I'm wrapping it up. We've had about two bites and I think we're done. <laughs> The shoe fly pie is really good. It's like very moist and um, basically brown sugar, but more of like a bread rather than like a, a cake or a pie. So that, you could probably eat the whole serving yourself. Any Andrew has been really enjoying it. <laughs> right? I have been because nobody else wants it. The kids don't really like it because they want all sugar. They're, they're gonna inhale the whoopee, the cream whoopee pumpkin. Pie. What's it called? The pumpkin whoopie pie? The pumpkin whoopie. That, that's very sugary. That's very, very sugary. This is a little bit less sugary. So um, even though it is made with brown brown molasses and brown sugar, it's uh, it's not as extreme. Here, that's Mr. Ed. Baby chicken. This goat, he's saying, Hey, I want some company. Heavenly echoes, secrets that we know. Doors that open for us in a moment.